say hello. Hi. All right, we are in Tallahassee. Bill, Jack, Fallon, and I, and Gio is here. We just got to the stadium. Let the fun begin. You know the name Troy Douglas? I don't know that. One. Troy was the first black player. He said, if you want to wait for he was like the first black player, at least or one of the first black players, Kevin Bowles. One of the team meeting rooms here at Florida State in the stadium where everything is located. We went to the um, strength and conditioning room. They just did a big remodel here. It looks good. We're having a good time. We just had a meeting with the defensive coach on how they would use Jack and what their uh, defensive game plan is. It was a good meeting. We're in the football lounge. Check this out. Big screen. Another football room. They even got like a, they got an arcade over here. This is where we're doing the football photo shoot. They got foosball. Fallon, you want to play some foosball? Probably would, I'm horrible at it. Pool, ping pong. Florida State Football Theater. This is uh, another place where they're going to do some photo shoot. Garland and gold, baby. Look at that, number 44 already set out for us. Oh, yes, sir. So, all right, so there's something really cool that I just want to point out. So, you know, we're one of the few Nike schools that has young custom There was a guy named like, Scott Moritz. There's like Joe's. Yeah, like, they're not so, custom like that. No, I know, but they're custom yeah. color and stuff, and, you know, it's all. This is, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot else you can say. But uh, I have some extra, like, you know, swag stuff, like bands and stuff, yeah. that little part right there. So, cool. and then, um, man, what, what, you like arm bands, right? Yeah. That's your big thing. Like 20 charm. 20 charm, yeah. And then, anything else in particular? Uh, no, I just do the arm bands. Uh, okay. Jack's mom. Hey, honey. How are you? We are here. We made it. Yeah. Yes, what up, John? We gotta see this arcade for these kids. Uh, they got them. Football players get treated real well. Their academic staff is a is 10 staffers for the whole football team. They make sure you go to all your tutoring sessions. They look over your class syllabus. Jack's already a good student, but it's crazy. They make sure you graduate. Facility. This is practice. They're doing football drills, conditioning. They had weights earlier. Different positions at different cone stations. Drinking a protein shake. That's right. Fifty grams of protein down the hatch. Bill, how much fun are you having? <laughs> Alright, 
it is Saturday morning. Jack is in the shower. We just got done doing a little pump up routine. We did biceps, triceps, some rotator cuff. Um, then we did some sets of back. Even when we're traveling, you know, we make sure that we stay on our goals. We make sure we prioritize sleep. Um, we brought our containers. We got our whey protein, true nutrition, chocolate fudge brownie. Everyone knows. Use Dynamic Fitness promo code. We got some creatine here. We got our carbolin carb powder. We got our shaker cups. We got our big jug. And then here we travel with the Yeti. And we got meals. You have to work at what you're doing. You have to plan ahead. And Bill and Jack and Fallon and Julie and John, they understand the importance of Jack getting in his food and getting in his training and his sleep. So we make sure that we prioritize the fundamentals and even when we're traveling, we plan ahead and prepare. Um, this morning, we are about to go to breakfast with the coaching staff. And then today, we are going to the Auburn, Kentucky basketball game. You can't even get tickets. Um, we are getting awesome tickets. I cannot wait. This is an amazing experience. Kentucky and Auburn are both highly ranked teams. Uh, this game is so sought after. It's going to be on national television, 12 o'clock game. Amazing. I cannot believe I get to experience that today. Um... You can't even get tickets to this game. Kids have been sleeping outside of the student center to get tickets. And these are students, kids that go to school here to get tickets. That's how excited they are. And it is like 40 degrees outside, 25 degrees on the low, 40 degrees on the high today. It's exciting. It's going to be a great day. Um, yesterday, we had an awesome time at Florida State. Um, it was good hanging out with their staff. We're probably going to head back there um, tomorrow um, for a Sunday visit again and then head back to Jacksonville. So I just want to give you guys an update with where we are. So we're about to go to breakfast and then have a day spent on campus. Um, I'll be able to feature some of the things for Auburn University. Oh my God, the stadium. You can see it from a mile away, at least driving up. It's huge, probably like three miles away. My distance um, gauge is not the best. So we're having an amazing time. I'm so blessed, so thankful to be here. You know, Jack's worked so hard, so many early mornings, so many days of eight meals per day with two practices or three practices. So it's just exciting to feel our hard work be uh, rewarded and just blessed. Jack, how you feel? What? Feels good. Night or Sunday night. Well. All right. It is Saturday morning. We just ate some breakfast. Now we are at the facilities. So Auburn started a new building project. How long ago did they start their building project? For seven months ago. They started about seven months ago and it's gonna be done in about five or six? Yeah, it'll be done June. So they have a $120 million facility that will be finished in June. And uh, Jack, um, you know, if this is the school he decides to go to, he'll be able to come in as a freshman and um, train in their new facilities for all four years. So the facilities that we are about to look at are their old facilities, but they were still highly impressed with them. And this is part one of our Auburn experience today. structures in place but but uh, we're gonna make this thing better the defense fire up too so we're getting it going my voice breaks because we were had a morning yeah. workout so oh, there you go we were rolling a little bit but, uh, here why don't I walk you up yeah. uh, Our academic wing. 
So this will be where all academics meet. Is. So you'll meet with your um, advisors there. We have a bottom area that has like a computer lab for them as well. So what you'll see, like they were mentioning, we'll be moving out of this this summer, but the only thing they will have here still is academics. But we'll head on down the stairs now. TVs, it'll be more spaced out, but this is our current team meeting room. So the guys come in here to kind of meet as a group, and then from there, they'll break off to offense, defense, and then individual position rooms. Yeah, this is special teams, too. Don't forget about special, special teams. Oh, yeah, special special teams. Tasha. Hey, Predator. 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 <laughs> I never yeah. got it, even though, you know. Think of it, you guys are all about sports performance, right? Yes. Everything about getting better. But what happens if a person can find the mistake before your body can or a coach can? Then that's what this does. There we go. So we actually 3D image our student athlete now and we build an avatar of that person. So we can overlay that player on top of themselves. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're doing a squat, right? And you want to see, hey, he's at not at 90 or whatever the case is. And he's not exploding through the hips and all that stuff. But you can't see it. Right, you think you see it, well, you're not sure, overlay his avatar on it and let him do the exact same thing. You'll be able to see his hip motion, his knees, everything. Explode yeah, where the out. ankle, knee, and hip everything. triple all extension is off. All the way up, yep. all the way up to the head. Right, so what we do with this is we actually fit their equipment this way now. Okay. So we take the circumference of their head, measurements of their hair, everything, and then we cut their head off and send it to the manufacturer and have it injected into the head. So shoulder pads are done that way now, footwear, so... Do other schools have this? No. No? Not, none or not, not a lot? Not one. Not one? The only team that has this right now is the Olympics, the Olympic team and F1 uh, Red Bull Racing. It's cutting edge and everything. There we go. What is, what's stopping other schools from... from $350,000 machine. There we go. That's some funding. Well, it's my company. It's your company. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> has any companies like an Under Armour or like a... A manufacturer like that wanted to partner with any of the technology you're doing, like phones yeah. or next tech, our shoulder pad company. Okay. So right now we're working with Rydell with this machine. So uh, one just from it. Like, would you license that then? Is this technology that you would have to license, or would you actually sell it for three hundred fifty thousand dollars? Sell it for three hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Well, okay. And they will SEC schools five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, the kicker is it, it's it's gonna it's gonna change. Alabama doesn't get one. Yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't change. So yeah. actually, the technology will yeah lessen, right? Costs will go down. All yes, stuff, right. Except here when you're in a pandemic and everything is expensive as heck. But the idea is time and understanding where we're going with it. Most people, I mean, how many food rooms you've been to around the country, and what they talk about is apparel. Yes, this is how much you get. Da da da. It's just not who I am. Our equipment room spends four point eight million dollars in apparel a year, so they get plenty of apparel. Apparel a year, so yeah, better. yeah. But if I can start showing our athletes that if if you just take the time to learn what your equipment can do for you to make you a better athlete, I'm in a better spot. And it's amazing. Yeah. How big is the uh, new is the new facility? I don't even know. How big? It's big. Over a hundred hundred. Yeah. 20,000 square foot, 130,000 square foot. Huge. Huge. I don't know. That entire thing over the there. Largest football only facility in the country. Largest football only facility in the country. Mm -hmm. Here at Auburn. Here at Auburn.
they got this torture hill they got to run up and push stuff up they're gonna have one of these at their next facility indoors oh, yeah. oh is this my sanctuary here's my sanctuary don't ring the bell don't ring the bell what else do you have the next one's gonna be way bigger Oh, no, I love the weight room. Jack's gonna hang out here. They're gonna have to tell him he can't. They're gonna tell him to go home. We're gonna go look at the new pictures. This summer for our new facility. They said the turf will be twice as big. Wow. Man, if I ran a 40 right now, I'd pull a hamstring. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do deadlifts for six months. This is the current indoor facility. The new one, again, will be finished in July. End of June, early July. And it will have all new everything. Holy crap, that's amazing, because this is, this is like still so nice and they're gonna let other sports use this current facility they're not even getting rid of this they're just gonna have larger and new and improved facilities that's amazing and the door learning, so number one he'll get in he'll get his own room with a shower in the room queen size bed full size washer and dryer located in here TVs mounted on the wall, couches, a great view of baseball and the stadium. Each room has their own bathroom. It doesn't get it. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't. Yeah, beautiful wow. View of <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful view of the stadium, the campus. Look at the sun shining on it. It's That's the dorm view and everything is so close to each other. Wow. So I got some love in, in here. You know, just have one roommate, which is great. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. There's one other person to try yes. to get along with, not three. Not three, just one. <laughs> I gotta pull out couch for me. Yeah. <laughs> I want this side. Look close. Look how cool that view is. Dude, yeah. how amazing is that view? It's oh so my cool. gosh. You can sit here and watch a baseball game. Yeah. Wow. It is. And the stadium is massive. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I could have been naked, bro. <laughs> this is gonna go on YouTube. Don't call me suspect. <laughs> you feeling good? This place is amazing. Let me fix that back pad for you. Good enough, pull it down. Bo, Bo! What you know about that? I am that.
the world. He didn't think I wanted to shower. He, he was about to not shower. He said he's he, gross. He, no, I'm not gross. Right. He's gross. Yeah, no, 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 gross no. Dave. He showered gross David. before we worked out. David snores and farts. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I snored <laughs> last week. Not. He just turned the camera off. I need redemption. For the record, I did snore two weeks ago when we were in Miami, but it's not my fault. The pillows made it hard on my neck, so my esophagus was collapsed and my me a river. my uvula was Pardon rubbing me. the top of my throat and I sounded like a freight train he said freight train he, he, don't freight don't train. listen to him don't listen to him a freight train a freight train bomb freight train's loud enough atomic bomb he don't know what he's talking about hey he's got a snore too but his snore is like a little bit of a purr like a little kitty cat it's like Bro, I was just being nice to you it was, a, it was an illusion all right well it's Sunday morning we're here in Auburn Alabama we had an amazing day yesterday. Um, Auburn is number two in the country in basketball and they just beat Kentucky. And Auburn is looking like they're going to be number one in the country in basketball after the new rankings come out and they have never been number one in the country. And uh, it was awesome. The head coach after the game was like, you know, we're a football school, but we're also an all sports school. And uh, it's great, great win for the entire program. Um, yesterday we had a great tour great campus atmosphere it was an amazing time uh, Jack has really loved it up here um, I've been really amazed the the staff the culture um, the people who showed us around these two ladies were just amazing I'm very thankful for them and, and how they treated us yesterday it's just been a great experience uh, the hotel we're staying at it's called the hotel in Auburn and um, right now we got we had Kentucky here yesterday we got Alabama here today it's a great environment here at the hotel. Amazing food downstairs too. They have like a Italian restaurant and I've had uh, some pizza and some other stuff from there. It's been amazing. Um, we are going to head back today to Jacksonville, Florida. It's about a five and a half hour drive. And um, we'll get a little dialogue going of some of the things that we've learned and experienced on these trips. And uh, Jack is going to most likely make an make a announced decision next week sometime so uh, stay tuned again we've had an amazing trip it's been a blessing and it's been awesome to work hard for the past few years and feel the hard work that Jack's put in be rewarded and be recognized and be validated and it's uh, it's emotional it's just such a blessing and we're thankful to be here and we have a lot of work to do over the next five months to get better and come into college even more prepared and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're still in wrestling season. we got about five weeks of wrestling left. Jack has a big tournament this next weekend at Flagler. And um, then after that, we have a couple more tournaments. Then we have districts and states. So the wrestling season comes to an end pretty quick. It's only about a three-and-a-half-month season. Well, it's four, and a half, four months for everyone else, three months for Jack. Because uh, when football gets out, he just has like three days break and then goes right into wrestling. Uh, last year we had to cut 20 pounds to make weight. This year we didn't have to do that, so his transition's been a little bit easier. Um, I say that just because wrestling is such a grueling sport. It's so difficult, so challenging. It's just you against another man. So there's no excuses. It's just technique, power, will, grit. Um, watching Jack wrestle gets me so hyped up. Man, it's it's intense. And he's he's a great wrestler. You know, he only wrestles during the season. Outside of the season, he doesn't wrestle, and these other kids wrestle year-round, and Jack is like 21-0. and 0. Um, He's done amazing this year. He did amazing last year also. It's just a testament to his athleticism and how hard he works and puts himself in a position to be successful even though he's not wrestling year-round by working as hard as he does in the gym and in the kitchen. These other kids don't have what he has. It's going to be a five-and-a-half-hour drive. I'm going to work on some emails. Um, Shout out to Josh Wells today, praying for you, man. Go Buccaneers. Let's go Brady. It's going to be a tough game. Rams have a crazy awesome defense, and uh, they have a very motivated coach, great staff, great offense. Matthew Stafford has a lot to prove. They got Odell Beckham, Akers. Man, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a uh, great game.
I will update you guys uh, along the road. But until then, keep moving forward.